so the product name is Aerov Tuna. It's basically an underwater drone or called as remotely operated vehicle. It can go up to a depth of 100 meters, give you live videos and footages, and it also can be attached with multiple payloads like saunas, gripper arms. So we started this because uh, once in, in one of my co-founder, when he was surveying ships, traveling in ships, he had a requirement of inspection of ship hulls. And it was difficult to find a diver and do inspection. So we thought building a robot to do this underwater inspection could be the best. So uh, we started back in 2016, September, October, and uh, we took around three to four months to first make a prototype. We did several testings and it had failed during the early time. So we understood what are the mistakes. We kept going back to our drawing boards and build the next version. It took around one, one, one and a half years to build a second version called Aerov Tuna, which was commercially launched and we had delivered to multiple clients after that. Earlier we used to work in calm waters but the newer version were, can work in much harsher conditions up to two knots of water currents and also multiple payloads like saunas, imaging saunas, side scan saunas, gripper arms were attached to shoot harsh conditions where visibility is mad. So these are some of the advantages so it can cater to higher water currents and harsh environments. Our early adopter was one of the research labs from DRDO. So they gave a purchase order uh, in 2017 December they gave the first order and we built a custom model for them which then now we scaled and built to multiple customers so they were our first adopters then we got customers from uh, some of the dam authorities then also we got from uh, one of the oil and gas companies. So we work with uh, defense organizations which predominantly work in underwater. We work with the dams where they want to do underwater inspection and surveys. We work with uh, ports and offshore structures where they want to inspect and survey near shore areas. Uh, we work with railways particularly for the bridge inspections, the footing inspections. It has propellers. Uh, to go forward, it can go, it have a dedicated thruster to go down. So basically everything is propelled by the thrusters which use. Also it has camera to navigate. So there will be a pilot controlling from the surface. He can go see through the camera. You, you will get a live video to the surface and you, you navigate using these thrusters and the camera underwater. From the surface, the pilot, there is a tether going from the surface to the ROV, to the underwater. So we generally give around 300 meters of tether and it is remotely controlled from the pilot. So uh, we are now uh, building an advanced version of the product. Uh, so that is majorly going to cater to the oil and gas industry and much harsher environment. Also we would be using that to cater to the defense grade products also. So that is one and we are also keen on processing the data. So there is a lot of data generated during our underwater inspection. Around 30 to 40 GBs of video. There is a lot of sensor data collected. So we are developing a data analytics and visualization platform where the data collected is presented more intuitively to the client actually.